Welcome to my Windows 10 machine here. We are going to show you how to install and find Arco Linux. So the first thing we need to do is go on Google and say, where can we download Arco Linux, please? And then it says, okay, you can download it here and download it. And we have two ISOs to download, one of two gigabyte big and one of one gigabyte. You decide what you want to have. It's all explained on arclinux.info and arclinux.com and arclinuxd.com. Now you decide, so I decide to have a two gigabyte uh, ISO here. So I'm going to download that already. If you have problems downloading, okay, all right. Then you go in here and see maybe there's something that's closer to me because Bulga Bulgaria is quite far away. So I'm going to take University of Kent, which is over the water in, so to speak. And I hope this one will be better. We are waiting, he says. Okay, so he's downloading it again, but I wa don't want this because, well, it's actually it's going fast already, almost there. But gonna try it anyhow. So we have now two downloads, one from Bulgaria and one from Canterbury, and we'll see which is the fastest. I think I'll have to guess that this one is going to be the slowest because, of course, they are eating up my bandwidth, both of them. So this seems to go faster. Anyway, what do we need also? So we have the ISO coming along, and we need something to burn the ISO. To USB and this is a great application because it's very simple you have an image you put in here and you have a USB and you flash it and you have it so we have this button up here download for Windows 64 bits and most of us have 64 bits if you're not sure then you have always super I or these settings up here that you always can check my students know this because this is one of the exam questions and you know here if you have 64 bits or not. So we've downloaded that. So we can open this. Your PC is going to be uh, is, is protected or something like that. And it's Windows Defender Smart Screen that thinks it's, it's the wrong thing. And this button says don't execute and you say more information and you say please execute and then everything is just fine okay so etcher is installed here and we can select an image if it's downloaded of course um, so that's the question is it downloaded or not it's you see here this green thing here so it's almost there. Let me clean up my download, which is filled with all tests from yesterday. Okay, so this is my Arch Linux version 6.6, .6, second one, that's why it has this one number behind it. So I'm going to select my image from the downloads. Here it is. Then I have a USB popped in or not don't do not have a USB yet in there so we are definitely gonna need that and he already knows how, off, how awesome is that he just knows it's this one and then the only thing you need to do is say okay flash it and when the counting starts I can stop my tutorial what you always do with USB, uh, safety precaution, we have this little sign here to say um, let's get it out safely. So um, that's one of the ways to cleanly uninstall a USB drive. So this concludes the tutorial, we'll just have to wait. ETA time is around 6 minutes, 5 minutes, 6 minutes, something like that. And then everything is written on your USB and you can start booting from it. Alright, enjoy.